After 7 Weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Quite the rainy start to your Thursday. Probably when you woke up and uh, were trying to get out of bed, it was probably just looking out the window and like, maybe it's one of those days you want to just stay inside. But it's not how you start the day, it's more so how you finish. There's your step of positivity for your Thursday, or what I like to call Friday of, again, twofold in fact of positivity. Although this is, we can spin this in a good way. It was great for the grasses, the greenery, and all of the farmers were probably happy with the free irrigation that Mother Nature was able to provide, especially over the last 48 hours. More so the bulk of the rainfall falling over the last 12, where we measured just around an inch at the Wheeling, Ohio County Airport, west of I-77 into Muskingum County, 1.33 inches of rain. The farther north, you traveled up into the Jefferson County Airport towards Youngstown and Pittsburgh International, right around a half inch or less. Washington, PA, just over six tenths of an inch of rainfall. Now, if you are looking for that bright yellow orb, we have that in plentiful bouts across our region at this point in time, with the bulk of the rainfall wrapping up over the last three hours. Live look at Storm Tracker 7, dual HD Doppler radar features more so in the way of quiet conditions, even across north central West Virginia, even across all of central and eastern Ohio. And I do expect that to be the trend moving into this evening. If you're looking for an opportunity to cool off, well, thanks to a shift in wind, we are more so blowing westerly wind. So that's also allowing for that cool air back across our region. It's more so reflective across the entire state of Ohio where the warmest temperature is up into Toledo at 82 degrees here locally. We're in the upper 70s. But one thing I do want to caution you that it is a little sticky outside. Dew point temperatures are back in the mid 60s. So anytime we get above 60 degrees, it starts to feel sticky. Daytime highs max out at 80 degrees relatively close to where we should be for this time of year. Overnight lows will be waking up into the lower 60s. Rinse and repeat. We get back into the mid to low 80s as we head into your finally Friday. Saturday stands out not only for its warmest day on the temperature coaster, but also the potential setup for some feisty weather. I am tracking the return of potential severe weather for Saturday afternoon and evening, more so centered across central Ohio, but this does extend into our forecast area, Harrison County, Western Belmont, all of Guernsey and Noble County outlined within a slight risk. That's a two out of five. The marginal risk encompasses Jefferson County, Eastern Belmont down through Monroe, and then all of the northern panhandle, north central West Virginia, and a marginal risk. That's a one out of five on the severe weather scale. Primary concerns at this point in time tend to be windy conditions and some strong downpours. So of course, I'll be keeping a close watchful eye on this as we head through your day tomorrow. But weather wise for tomorrow, we start off the day not looking the best. Mid to upper level clouds will be overhead gradually clearing out as we head into dinner time tomorrow and then further into your evening before those clouds start to build back in. A few scattered showers could start to bubble up early Saturday morning. The bulk of the rainfall forecast to roll in Saturday afternoon and evening. Winds will also be a bit breezy at times, blowing sustained at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunday looks pretty nice. Scattered showers return to begin next week, cooling off as we head into mid to late next week. Temperatures upper 70s, low 80s.